Greetings hobbyists, this is Arsans of all, and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can make our own node groups and save them for use in later files. So if you followed the channel in the last video we were having a look at how we can make a set of nodes that's going to be able to work out the size of an object. And we were having a look at how we can use this in a node group version of an array. Now I'm just going to get rid of all of this here because the bit that we're interested in is these nodes and actually this is really useful to have. So I want to be able to save this so I don't have to constantly write it out every single time. Obviously this is only four nodes but it does take time and it would definitely be convenient to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and so it's nice and blank and I'm going to select these and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a single node. So if you just press Control and G you'll see that you go into the node. If I press tab you come out of it and it's called no group click on it again again and then press tab to go back into it and we want to set the things that we want to be able to put in and out of this node group. So I want to have the object that's going to be here so I'm going to put that into the group input. You'll notice now we've got that object as a definable feature on our node group where it wasn't there before. I'll tab back into it again and then I want the x, y and z to be available as our group output. So I'm going to select that there and tab out and you'll notice now that we've got the x, y and z. Finally we need to rename this and you do need to be careful with this. What you don't want to do is press F2 and just rename it there. You need to rename it in this part. So I'm going to call this object size as that's what it finds out and then you'll notice that goes to the top. If you do this by pressing F2, it doesn't have the same effect. When you save it and try to bring it in somewhere else. Finally, I need to save this file. So I'm gonna to go to File, Save As, find wherever I want to save it, and I'll just call this, I don't know, Blender Geometry Nodes. And I've called it that because I might want to bring in other nodes later, and I just want one file where they're all kept in. Click Save As, and that looks like it's done. And then I'm just gonna click File and New so we can see how this works. So I've got my new file, and if I bring it up so I can access my geometry nodes and go to this one and click new, we'd love to be able to bring this in here, but at the moment we can't. It's not anywhere to be found. So what you have to do is you have to go to file, append, go to wherever you've saved this, double click on it. And then importantly, you've got this option called node tree. And when you go into that, you've got, here we go, object size. Click append. And now this is going to be available if you press control and A to bring something in and you go down to the group you'll notice you've got object size and you can just drag that in and here we've got it. We've got our geometry node. Now, what's slightly frustrating about this is every single time I want to use this, I'm gonna to have to go into file, append and bring that in. It would be really nice if you could just go to file and then set this up as part of your save startup file. Unfortunately, that doesn't work or at least I haven't been able to get it to work it doesn't save that you've appended this to the file as part of the startup menu. So you're gonna to have to do this every time, except you don't have to if you go and get yourself an add-on. So there's this add-on called Node Shelf. It does note that it's currently in a beta version, which means there might be some problems with it. And you can contact the creator, so Anaz is there here, if you have any problems. And he, as I say, he notices it's currently under development. And you find this on Gumroad, and because of that, you can just put in zero for your price and then click I want this and you get it for free. But obviously it is nice to put something in here so it gives the creators something for the time they've spent making these. And once you've got that, you need to install it as an add-on as you normally would, and then you activate it. And what that does is in your geometry node setup, you'll notice you've now got something called node shelf. Then you just need to select your node group that you've created and pick a name for it before you save it. So in a shocking turn of events, I'm gonna call this object size. Click save group and then now that's saved to your node shelf files. And if you go to file and then click new, come here, click on your object and we want a new geometry node set up. And then you come down here to where it says node shelf and you'll notice that you've got your different nodes that you've saved using this. If I click on this, it's only got one because I only saved one to it at this point, but you click load group or you could just click load all and it will load all of your geometry nodes that you've got saved. So this is saving you the time of going through this file append and finding every single file that you want to have appended to this. Shift A to be able to bring in a new geometry node. And if you go down to group, you'll notice that you've got object size, click object size, bring it in and you've got that ready to go. So I think that's a total time saver there so that you don't have to append everything every time. I guess it depends on how often you're gonna to need to use those saved geometry node setups. So that gives you a couple of options on how to do this and I'll put a link to that add-on in the description at the bottom. Have a great day, guys.